want to welcome you back to Black Sight tonight. We're going to talk about Congresswoman Nancy Mace exposing Michael Eric Dyson in text messages. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. There were people in the civil rights movement who said this was all about access to white women. And we see Michael Eric Dyson, one of the most pro-black voices on television, is cozying up to a Republican, Nancy Mace, and sending her text messages. But I'm not surprised. This is why these guys are running around supporting Kamala Harris and they're all for the Democrat Party movement because they want access to white women. They really don't care about the revolution. They don't really care about reparations. They don't really care about uh, getting food prices down. All he could think about was that white woman and when he was going to send her a message. And now that she was at a congressional hearing and showed those messages, he comes out, of course, calling her a bigot, calling her a racist. So what the hell would you send her messages for, Michael Eric Dyson? Because you had that itch and it needed to be scratched, just like so many other ones on TV, Van Jones and many others. They fight the good fight for black people so they can get that white woman. That's all they can think about. And that's what Malcolm was talking about. See, they're not talking about the issues that pertain to black America. They're not talking about issues about the wealth income. They're not talking about that. They're getting a paycheck. They're going to the party. Hopefully Kamala get, uh, get uh, elected. They can get a job and get more access to white women. But the worst thing about this is that Nancy Mace is a MAGA Republican. And this is who he's sending messages to. Oh, I'm telling you, man, these brothers out here that support supposed to be representing you are phony as hell. Let me tell you something. The FBI or Deep State, they got a dossier file about black men wanting these white women. And this fool right here, he's been caught. So when he get caught, what he got to do? He got to put up a racist. She's a racist. She's a bigot. What the hell was you talking to her for? I'm going to tell you this right now. These men are for the dollar and for the white skin. And if they can get Becky, they happy as hell. This is who Michael Eric Dyson is. He a race hustler. All he in is for the money. He found him a niche in the early 2000s. He stayed in the niche, became a professor, go from school to school, you know, basically have these conversations, trying to be the black professor, speaking for black people. But all he wants is to get under the sheets with these women. But he represent you. He care about you. He care about racism. But what he was on his mind is right now is he want that white woman. And you don't know how many others in Congress that's black, all they can think about is that white woman. This is what they call success, going after this woman. When you got bigger issues that need to be dealt with in this country. That's why I don't even know why people even watch CNN. Bunch of degenerates are on CNN and MSNBC. Whack jobs. Men who ain't even men. Beta male men <coughs> who are out here trying to represent black men. Men who ain't, ain't even respected by society. And look, you expected this white woman was going to keep those uh, those messages? You forgot she's a white woman. You supposed to be the one teaching us about this. But you fail in the test. How in the hell how we going to have 
all these black men supposed to be in power, supposed to have name recognition, and all they can think about is nonsense. And how much they going to get paid by their white paymasters. So, of course, Nancy Mace was going to kick him in the butt. Because she a white woman. That's what they do. When you get to a top level and they feel like they can turn on you and they have information on you, they're going to drop their bomb on you. And she dropped it on him. And he deserved it. Because I ain't never liked him. Any man that talked that damn fast. You shouldn't believe him. Damn sure shouldn't trust him. Now he's embarrassed in front of the whole world. But this man been doing this damn near all his life. We look good together. We look good. Hell no. Nah. How you going to do that in this type of atmosphere in this country when you know that this woman was going to take that knife and stick it in your back? But you ain't think about that. You thought about your mind and your lusts. And one thing the white man knows, you want his woman. And until you can get that out of your skin and you can get that out of your mind, you're going to always get caught. This is how the system works. It's set up to catch you. They know what you want. They know what you think about. They have studied us for years and years. And they know those in power, those who seek gratification, those who want to get to the higher level, know that half of them want a white woman. So Nancy Mace put him back in his place. Bears them in front of his whole, whole community. Now he calling her a sick soul. Why would you deal with a woman you got upset with on CNN? Why would you even take a picture with her? Why would you even have a discussion with her if that's the woman you said she was? Unless you wanted to get with her. And that's all he ever wanted to do. Eric Michael Dyson, all these others out here, hey, they in it for the money. They not in it for you. I hope you finally understand that everybody is being exposed right now. And you could take it and leave it. If you don't, hey, you deserve what you get. I would love to hear your comments in the comment section. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. Hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.